And uh, my topic is context-based uh, collect. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, my topic is context-based uh, collective preference aggregation for patriotizing called opinions in the social decision making. And in the daily life, uh, people would like to find some solutions from uh, 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 for a social issue. For example, the government of uh, tourist city uh, want to uh, make decisions that how to support the foreigners uh, with language barrier. And uh, we hope that the decision makers uh, can listen to the crowd opinions and the preference, preference uh, as much as possible during they uh, make the decisions. And uh, the such kind of investigations can be conducted based on online web service in this uh, internet era. And uh, for example, how about uh, utilize the online voting system? And uh, there are many online voting systems uh, available. And on such kind of system, the decision maker can list the several candidate uh, options. For example, uh, we want to vote uh, a chairperson of the con uh, local community, or we want to ask a crowd that uh, uh, whether the support was refused to the uh, given plan. Uh, however, uh, such kind of uh, online voting service, uh, the capability uh, is still limited. Uh, they do not consider uh, the many uh, crowd opinions and use them as the candidate options, uh, for example, like this. And it only, uh, the, uh, the only the decision makers uh, list uh, a small number of uh, limited uh, options. And they cannot be used for gathering and concluding the collect preference uh, on many uh, color opinions uh, like this. So that uh, we want to say that it cannot request solutions for a wide range of diverse issues to make decision. Uh, so our idea is that uh, we want the decision maker can first uh, harvest uh, many human opinions, uh, opinions with the aid of the wisdom of crowds on the web, and then uh, parat uh, prioritize these crowd opinions to discover the satisfactory opinions that reflect the collective preference uh, of old people of the uh, crowds uh, for social decision making. And it provides a new idea for promoting the uh, democracy in the society in the internet era and allowed much more people to join the uh, process of the uh, decision making and by providing their opinions, by providing their preference. And uh, to deduce the, the collective preference on many, many uh, opinions, the problem, one of the problems that uh, it is relatively difficult to ask, pe ask people for exactly providing absolute preference degree to each opinion. And, uh, but it is easier to collect the relative preference judgment from people for a pair of opinions. For example, I prefer this uh, opinion to the other opinion. So the solution here is that we would like to connect the uh, uh, pairwise preference uh, comparisons from the clouds. And each person only need to judge a subset of pairs, do not need to judge the old uh, pairs of old opinions. And then we will aggregate the pairwise preference levels into aggregate preference levels. And we got the aggregated levels as the reflection of the collective preference on the opinions. Uh, this is a more uh, concrete uh, uh, example of, of our idea. And so here we have example that uh, the government of a tourism city in a non-English speaking country uh, want to find some way to support the foreigner uh, tourist with language barrier. And then first we can collect many crowd opinions. Uh, this is uh, some example and uh, we can collect more. And uh, then after that, in the second stage, uh, we can ask, also ask the crowd uh, to give their preference. And uh, so here, uh, to distinguish them from the crowds who give the opinions, uh, I name uh, them as uh, evaluators. And note that uh, the, uh, the person who provide the opinions or who provide the preference are not necessarily exactly the same. Or they can be the same or they can be different. Uh, uh, there's no strict requirement. And then we will uh, carry out preference equation method on uh, all these preferences uh, uh, and then uh, get the uh, coll uh, collect preference and which reflect the, the preference of the overall community. Uh, in practice, it is not feasible to collect the labels for all the opinion pairs, and uh, there are a large amount, number of combinations of all the candidate opinion pairs. And also, because the evaluator has diverse ability, diligence, and preference, so we need to label each uh, opinion pairs uh, by multiple evaluators. 
So we can only collect the preference of a small subset of pairs and a small number of labels for each pair. Then how to only utilize this, uh, this small number of uh, pairwise preference and opinions to estimate the collective preference is the problem. And so uh, for the existing work, there are some exceptions on the pairwise preference regression and typical equation, uh, the BT, BT model, the most typical one. Uh, and also the, uh, some models consider the, the cost source the setting, the heterogeneous setting, uh, heterogeneous setting, such as the cloud BT, HBTL, and some uh, which consider the diverse ability of the evaluators. And but all this existing work uh, concentrate on the co concentrate on the general scenarios by utilizing only the Paris preference uh, labels, without considering other types of information such as the uh, context, because they are not always available. The contexts are not available in any uh, scenarios. But uh, in our scenarios, uh, we have the crowd opinions. Uh, they are text content. Uh, there are one or more several sentences. So actually we have the additional context information. So why not utilize this additional information to promote the performance of the aggregation? So here we propose the prefer uh, preference aggregation approach that can effectively incorporate the context information. We build the relation between the opinion context and the latent preference scores uh, by utilizing the opinion contents as the constraint in the object functions. And we have some variants and set different settings of our proposed method. And so the contributions of our work is uh, like this. And we propose a novel context-based preference equation approach to estimate the collective preference on the crowd opinions for social decision-making, uh, which has novelty on both applicable study and technical study. And we build the relation between the context information and the potential, uh, potential uh, preference scores. And uh, uh, we use the real cloud opinion data sets to verify our approach. And so our approach uh, is effective, especially when only a small number of uh, labels are available. And uh, now uh, we start to introduce the detailed models. And first, we need to clarify the problem settings. So for the input of the model, uh, we have a set of crowd opinions and which is one or several text settings. And uh, we can extract the feature instrumentation of the opinions uh, by some any text encoder. This is the difference from the uh, uh, existing uh, preference equation works. And we have also a set of evaluators and a set of Paris preference labels. And the question we pose to the evaluators is that which of the two opinions you prefer. And each opinion pair is noted by multiple evaluators. And for the output, uh, we need to estimate the preference relations among all the opinions. And then so we can run the opinions, uh, uh, we can uh, prioritizing, uh, tizing, uh, prioritizing the opinions. And uh, in both the uh, homogeneous and the heterogeneous settings, uh, we will get the output, uh, the estimate preference scores, preference, preference scores uh, of the opinions. And uh, in the heterogeneous settings, we will also get the estimate evaluator factor. And uh, uh, okay, here we mentioned uh, what is the uh, homogeneous society and the heterogeneous society. And uh, in the first of all, uh, the discrepancy of the individual uh, uh, elevators are not considered. All the evaluators are treated equally. And in the heterogeneous settings, it also can be regarded as cross source set, uh, setting, and uh, we will consider individual factor. And uh, there are many ways to uh, interpret, to explain the meaning of this uh, individual factor. In our scenario, uh, the, it uh, represents the preference pairs of an individual evaluator to the collective, uh, collective preference. Uh, of, of, of course, it also potentially indicate the abilities and diligence of the uh, uh, individual evaluators, evaluator when providing the preference labels. And uh, here are some preliminary of the uh, existing uh, preference aggression models. Uh, the most typical one is the BT model. Uh, so uh, uh, the probability that uh, the uh, one opinion is preferred over another opinion can be defined based on the latent variables of the 
preference scores uh, like this. This is probability and the, this is preference scores. And then we can uh, utilize uh, uh, this loss function uh, to estimate the, the preference scores, this entropy, uh, cost entropy loss function. And uh, it does not require the labels of each pair of opinions, uh, uh, but it requires that an opinion uh, must appear in at least the one labeled pair. And uh, in the heterogeneous uh, uh, setting, uh, for example, the crowd BT model, it modeling the, the evaluator's ability. And uh, for the HPTL model, it modeling the scalar factor of judgment noises for each uh, evaluator. Although uh, here, uh, this beta parameters has uh, uh, somewhat different meanings or uh, explanation, uh, it corresponding uh, to the individual elevator factor uh, in our model. Uh, okay, we will utilize this BT model and the cloud BT and the HPTL model as the basis model uh, for our proposal. And all this existing work only utilize the preference values and do not consider the types and the context of the objects. And so our work will incorporate additional context information to promote the aggression, aggression performance. We build the relation between the opinion context uh, here, X, and the opinion scores for preference comparison. Uh, so here uh, we define as tall. So here now we have context, contextual preference of scores and the contextual preference of probability, uh, which is different from the preference probability and preference scores. And uh, we can explain this, this transformation as a weighted variable uh, of aggression of fully connected neural network. Uh, that utilize the opinion content to predict the preference scores. And uh, uh, we will incorporate this relation uh, into the original loss of the basis model of the, uh, to propose our model. And uh, we have two uh, variants. One is the external integ integrated solution. In this solution, uh, we do not strictly require that the preference scores and the context preferences are same. Uh, we just assume that if opinion is preferred over another opinion according to the preference scores, then the context of preference scores should also satisfy this condition. Uh, so here at the last function, this is original last function. And the next, uh, this is the regulation term we add. And so we will compute diver uh, divergence between these two types of scores and then uh, construct the, uh, the loss function of our, our cell, uh, our model. And this is indicates the influence of the context information on the preference scores. And uh, another way is the uh, internal integration solution. And uh, we will leverage the context information to influence the preference score directly. In other words, we will utilize the context preference probability QIG instead of the preference probability PIG uh, in the loss function directly. So the uh, loss function will be written like this. And note that uh, for this CHPTL, uh, it's not only the context preference probability, but also uh, the, uh, the, this probability for each evaluation. Okay, uh, this is some discussion of the number of parameters. And so let's come to the experiment. So we create, uh, we have several uh, real data sets which, uh, which, which contain real uh, crowd opinion and the preference. And so for example, uh, for the government, uh, they can invest the, the, get the opinions from the citizens and for comp company, they can invest the uh, opinion from employees and university people can ask the uh, opinion from the faculty. Gee, members. sorry, just, just wanted to let you know that we are a little bit running a little bit out of time. So okay, just will, to let you know if I you will. can. Okay, okay sure. no problem. Thanks. Okay. And so here uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of number of uh, opini opinions and uh, a lot of uh, 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 evaluators here. And uh, we utilize certain words to encode the context. And this is the characteristics of the data size. And uh, this is the uh, uh, method we will compare the, in the experiments, uh, include typical models and the state of art models and with different settings. And uh, Okay, for the evaluation method, we will estimate the collective performance uh, of all opinion pairs by only using a small number of labeled pairs and a small number of labels for each labeled pair. And uh, we will utilize the accuracy of the estimated pairs preference uh, to verify our approach. And these are examples of some experiments results and uh, uh, star, uh, uh, star marks indicates the statics is significantly better. 
And uh, the, uh, so these are some discussion of the uh, uh, experimental results. So let's uh, just uh, go through them and let's come go to the final uh, recommendations. So uh, we recommend that using the models in the heterogeneous setting to estimate the collective preference. And uh, for our proposed models, when the collective preference labels indicate that the consistent degree of the collective preferences is relatively low, very low, we recommend to use our models with external integration. And otherwise, in most of the case, we recommend using our models with internal integration. And we have some additional experiments with interesting uh, operations. You can check the details in the paper. And we also give a series of discussion on one of the model. And uh, the limitation is that uh, the data can be small, but it should not be extremely slow. And uh, if it's extremely slow, uh, all of the models, include all of the basic models, uh, will not work well. So we give a recommendation on the, the size of the uh, data. And for the implications, uh, our proposal will allow the people to deeply join the decision-making process in the society. And also uh, our technical uh, method will contribute to AI fields such as NLP and crowdsourcing. And uh, of course, there are still some open questions on the privacy and the fairness. And the country, our proposal only does allow as much as, as, as many as, pers of, uh, as persons to join the decision making, but there's still some issues, for example, uh, how to uh, take care of the fairness of the minor, uh, opinions of minority groups, uh, if you be a uh, separate uh, to future topics. And the conclusion just the same with the uh, okay the contribution to the, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, and sorry for speeding up a little bit. And the, uh, the presentation was really nice. Thank you very much. And I was wondering, yeah, but probably like you were mentioning, I just have one question. I don't know if the audience, someone wants to ask anything. Okay, I, I will move ahead in, in mm -hmm. the time. So like I was wondering, so you were, you were saying that probably fairness consideration has to take, be taken in mind. So that you, ex you were explaining the problem. It looks like it, I like the idea of mixing context noise with information, context-based preference mm -hmm. aggregations for sure is a kind of, I see, which is can be really the next steps. I was wondering like, how do you, so the fairness there may come out in terms of, let's say having demographics information about users interacting with the model probably there will allow you to inject for example group fair, group fairness constraint or how do you feel like that fairness can be added into into consideration uh, sorry, uh, I, 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 I cannot understand the, the later part of the question. I, I know you understand my idea about how to utilize the context information. And next, what's the, what's the meaning of the question? Can you? No, uh, like, like I, was, I was wondering, I was wondering, like in the future work, you were mentioning that there is a sort of fairness to extend. No? I was wondering oh. which kind of follow up do you see with, with the extension of fairness into consideration of the model? Oh yes, uh, you are right. Actually, uh, for the fairness, I actually uh, I get, uh, noticed this problem, and uh, I think first I need to uh, make a, a wide in, uh, make an investigation in the existing work of fairness. And if you have any idea, I would like to hear. And uh, from my opinion, maybe uh, uh, for example, uh, to take care of the the idea of the opinion of minority group, we we, we can uh, use some uh, sampling method. Third, uh, to strengthen the, the uh, opinions of minority groups. This is my current idea, but I think maybe this is not the typical solutions or whether it works or not, I'm not sure. Uh, do you have an idea uh, of solving this problem? No, not really, not really. That's why I was like, mm -hmm. I, I would say that probably mm -hmm. like affirmative action, like considering that the minority to not be left let's say behind in the consideration when you estimate the probability yeah i would say i, I don't know like that's a, that's a really interesting question i would say mm. yes we should be thinking something we should be thinking and talk more mm. but thank you yeah thank you i understand, understand. Oh, it's, not, it's not trivial let's say it's not trivial. thank you thank you i will uh, also uh, listen uh, investigate and listen to other uh, works about fairness to try to improve this uh, uh, it's a very interesting nice. uh, topic thank you thank you